finger licking. I put my finger in and touch his lips and let him lick it. He really wanna fuck me cause he know that rim is different. That pussy but I purr like a little kitten. He begging, asking me to let him stick the tipping. But if he stick the tipping. Come on, mommy, y'all want this smoke. Y'all don't. Y'all really don't. Cause what the fuck you want smoke with somebody that's gonna kill you? Do you do that? Is that what you guys do to me? Is that what happens when people are just like randomly mean for, to me for no reason? I feel like that happens. Okay, so I know I don't look good today. Whatever, leave me alone. I have to tell you the story. So Rowan just started preschool today um, and I have all the feelings. You know me. I have all the feelings. I'm dying. I'm dying inside um, and I'm angry. I am angry at time. I am mad that it went by so fast. I'm mad at myself because I feel like I missed stuff. I am literally on the brink of tears right now, but it's but it's angry tears. Like, I'm angry. And when I'm angry, I don't want to, like, I don't want to, like, project it onto my family. I don't want to do it to my husband. I don't want to just be pissy with him. I don't want to just, you know... So, <laughs> typically what I do is I just start fighting on Facebook okay so I hope I hope that one of these women from the buy sell breast milk page is watching this because fuck you bitches okay so let me tell you a story Archie um she had a bad latch from the beginning like at the hospital I was like she does not latch like her sister and, you know, everybody was like, everybody's different. I'm just like, no, I can feel it. I also, Rowan just sucked the life out of my boobs. They literally face downward. Like, when I was leaking, because I express a bunch of milk, right? When I was leaking, it wouldn't be on my shirt. It would be on my pant leg. Okay? That's how, that's how they hang. They hang down. Down. Okay? I breastfed her for too long. You guys told me that, but I didn't care. I was going to keep going. So, Archie... We've struggled, and I, 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 I do what I can, but it's not enough, okay? Ho is hungry. She must eat. So, I've found donors, right? Um, and mostly, um, I, I've only had one donor, because, you know, you have to be safe. It's like an unregulated industry. Like, how do you know these people? You're buying milk from them. I'm dying, right? Okay, so fine. But... When in the beginning, like I just joined every page on Facebook, right? Just to like buy, sell, trade, breast milk, donor, breast milk. I never take donated breast milk. Don't even come for me. I would never do that. Let me tell you why. Because there are women that actually need the donation I can afford to pay for it. So I buy it, right? To supplement Archer's milk. One donor. But I still am on the page. So I'm like, you know what? Let me fight with these hosts today. So I just get on there and they're complaining because they're always complaining. They're complaining because they believe in their souls that they are doing the Lord's work, this charitable thing, all while charging sometimes $4 an ounce for this milk, right? And now you can charge whatever you want. That's what I keep telling them. However, stop thinking about yourself like you're a fucking charity. It's not a goddamn charity. No, it's not a charity because we're paying for it. We're paying for a completely unregulated product that we have absolutely no way to validate. Like, I mean, I've, I've tested, I tested my donor's milk, but in general, if you're just buying milk, like how do you know if it's good? Some woman will be like, oh, my milk isn't high lipase. It'll be high lipase. And it's all soapy. The baby don't like it. You have to put some vanilla in it. You guys, so I chose war today with, <laughs> with just these women. And I'm so irritated because they were so mad because I was just challenging their belief structure that they believe that they are charity or charities and that we should like be like not only paying them, but like thanking them and regaling them for like they're doing like the Lord's work. And I'm like, but you're selling it. You're selling a product, right? And like you're getting compensated for it. Like you're charging whatever you feel like is the price that you should charge for it. And people pay for it so like why 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 and pe then people are like it's my body my choice I'm like yeah it's your body and it's your choice and it's your choice to sell your milk right like 
I'm not saying that you shouldn't be paid for it. I'm just saying you shouldn't get like congratulations. You're such a good person for it. Cause again, you are charging for it, right? Like people who donate their milk, I'm just going to go ahead and say are like charitable and people who sell their milk are still doing a good thing. However, it's not a charity right because it's a business so be business minded like don't complain about sellers on the selling page or the buyers sellers shouldn't complain about the buyers on the buy sell page and they're so mad they're like we're allowed to vent i'm like then make a like a sellers only page to vent because it's just a bad business model to me anyway that's the random thing i chose to argue about today for no reason like literally for no reason babysitters charge fucking money right they help though don't they they're doing a good thing to help mothers aren't they but they charge money are they charity workers no that's their job right and this woman was like but the hours and i'm like yeah you have shitty work hours man charge for it okay do you think you could take a, a, wet nursing has nanny, been going on forever nanny, nannies go from, say, seven to five or eight and yes, I why would you want to buy from... Thank you, that's exactly my point. I literally was like, I kept telling these women, I'm like, yo, your business mind needs a paradigm shift. Like, you're just, you're off on this. Like, you are not, you're not right. Like, unless you have relactated out of your natural lactation stage of life charity, because you don't have a baby you're just charity, like you literally did what's that like the foley free. something method and you forced lactation to provide for babies you are expressing charity, milk stop mom you're expressing milk and you have more milk than your baby needs now i'm not telling you to give it away you shouldn't give it away unless you want to give it away if you want to give it away good for you but if you want to sell it please stop acting like you're giving it away because you're not you're not you're selling it and i appreciate the hustle but nobody's gonna buy for people that they feel like are assholes you know i don't know i don't know i don't know exactly people are dirty thank you there's so many risks involved and they're like what are you talking about i have to buy bags and i have to do this and pump parts are expensive but i have pumps and i have bags i have all those things mama i get it but i'm also buying a completely unregulated product with absolutely no way to like get my money back to make sure it's legit and they're always like cash only right because then you can't claim that on your taxes that you're making this extra side money it's side money you gotta hustle it's good i'm not judging the hustle i am judging the righteousness the self-righteousness of these ladies oh. i'm so sorry Nelly. Nelly, I know you pump and you work hard and I am not taking away from that. But if you decide to sell that milk, baby, it's a business and I want you to sell it and I want you to make that money, honey. But it's a business. It's a business. And the, the, the fury that I wanted, because I really went looking for it, you know, to distract me from my other problems. Um, the fury that came was just so satisfying. I mean, they were so mad. So mad. My body, my choice. If I want to put it down the drain, I will. Then put it down the fucking drain, dude. Put it down the drain. Like, you can. Or you can charge for it. Don't just act like I'm helping babies like yours. Mm. Yes. For a price. Like, weird. It's so weird. Anyway, this was my... No, we're not talking about weed. <gasps> I brought that up. I was like, dude, this is like drug dealing. Does your neighborhood weed man get mad if somebody doesn't show up? Like, no. They're like, come through later. Like, these bitches are like, oh my god. She didn't reply to me for like three hours. Like, I'm a buyer. I don't have to reply ever. Like, never. I literally never have to reply. I can be like, is this available on Facebook? And never respond never because i'm a buyer like what do people not understand they don't want it to be a business because they want to feel like they're doing something good but they also are running a business it's hard it's hard it's hard it's hard 
Yeah. It's like buy, sell, like breast milk or something. I don't know. I don't know. I'm on so many of those pages on Facebook. Um, it's milk dealing. It is. It is. And I'm like, you guys have to shift your, your, your paradigm. Like your mind is not right. You're, it's a business. You enjoy making an income. Otherwise you wouldn't do it. Because like, and then they always assume that you have never pumped. You don't know how to pump. You don't know how to breastfeed. You've never breastfed. And I'm like, okay. Ugh. Everybody's circumstance is different. But like, don't try to tell me that I don't know what I'm talking about. I know what I'm talking about. Like, oh, you're just lazy and you don't want to wake up in the middle of the You're damn right I don't want to wake up in the middle of the night. Nobody does, but I still do. I still wake up in the middle of the night. Yeah, that's true. But I'm just talking in general, even if, even if you're formula feeding your baby, you're still waking up in the middle of the night, you know? And are you lazy? Yeah, they say, they say that we're lazy. Yeah, you're lazy. Get a second job to afford $1,200 to $1,400 a month to buy breast milk at $1 an ounce. So at $1 an ounce, if your baby drinks 30 ounces of milk a day, that's 30 ounces of milk a day, that's 200 dollars a week roughly you're gonna want more so let's say a thousand ounces of milk a month and that's like low price a dollar an ounce sometimes it could be up to like four dollars an ounce for one child who are you who are you selling to that's what i just kept saying like if your niche is to sell milk to incredibly well-off women who can afford that like who can afford to pay freaking a thousand dollars a month on one child okay then market yourself like that act as act accordingly okay i need to see you and your baby looking fly looking good every day i don't want to look through your profile pictures and see any kind of struggle okay because you're marketing yourself too high end it's like louis vuitton or some shit you know it's a luxury fucking item but if you're like oh i'm just trying to help babies because i know that breast milk is better than formula fuck you you're a liar you want to make money Stop it. Stop it. You're not a donor. And they get mad because I start calling them sellers and they don't like that. They want to be called donors. No, 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 ma'am. No, sir, no, ma'am. Anyway. <sighs> right? Isn't that expensive? I mean, I can afford that. And that's the thing. I'm like, some women can. Some women can afford to do that. However, not everybody can. And so asking for 40, 40 cents an ounce which is like comparable to what formula would be, isn't crazy and they're not lowballing you or being disrespectful. They're telling you what they can afford and if you really wanna help, then that's where your help is, okay? That's the help. That's oh, what you're doing help that's helping. Hmm? Help is yeah, charity. charity is charity. charity some, is people, some people do donate milk and don't want any money in return. Some people do do that. I've never bought milk or I've never received free milk because I feel like that's for women who genuinely can't afford it. That's taking milk that another baby whose mother can't afford to buy milk would get. No, they don't give discounts. They're mad if you don't show up, if you have to reschedule. They're upset if you find somebody for cheaper after they've already taken the milk out the deep freezer. I'm like, it's a business. Like it's you're you're operating a business. Oh. It's so upsetting. Anyway, I'm gonna get off because I'm gonna be back on that page. I just took a break, and I'm gonna have like a hundred um, replies because I've made everybody mad. But I just wanted to know: Do you guys do that? Do you, I'm gonna put this video out probably so you can reply. But do you do that? Do you just like find a fight because you're upset about something else? Is that just me? Am I the only person that does that? Cause I do, I do. I find a fight someplace else. Someplace that's not gonna be hurtful to my family or my life or like, you know. Just, I find a fight someplace to the left. I don't know why I do that. I don't know if it's healthy. It feels like it is though. It feels like I should be doing this. All right. Love you.